Hey everyone, it's Ivan from KitBadger.com over here with Matt from JerkingTheTrigger.com. And we're out here on a little adventure in this brisk February in northern Idaho. It's down in the teens, but we piked out into the woods and prepped some like fire making material because we're going to have some tea. What kind of tea are we going to have? Pine needle tea. Yes, it's pretty cool. Honestly, I'd never had it until recently. So uh, yeah, run you through it. Off to my left, this is a white pine. You can tell so. There's basically all the needle clusters are five. I say all, the vast majority. So if you start looking through, you might find one that's four or three, some fill out. Largely, they're all five. This you can safely make tea out of. Not as good as say a Douglas fir, which Matt is gonna show you in a second. My favorite needle to make tea from is Douglas fir. We'll call it Doug fir for short. You can tell you're working with Doug fir because you'll typically find the needles spread out radially, not just fanned out in one layer. The needles have rounded points and when you compress them like this, they don't feel sharp. If they felt sharp, it's probably some kind of a, a spruce or similar um, but yeah, you're looking for something like that. Matt's going to go ahead and harvest some of these. We're going to get kind of the fresher ones down towards the end, and we're going to go ahead and collect them ugh, straight into this bobble press. While it is a coffee press, you can obviously use it for tea, and it makes it way easier because then you're not picking needles out of your teeth. Basically looking for a good handful. That's it, doesn't take long to gather this. With the white pine, you can go ahead and cut these bases off and then throw it in whatever you're gonna steep this in. For the dug fir, you don't have to do that. And what you're looking for is basically about a handful. Depending on how strong you want it, you can obviously put more, totally dependent on taste. We've already went ahead and processed a bunch of wood, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing lit so we can boil some water, steep our tea. Two quick disclaimers. One, if you're unfamiliar with like what tree is what, go ahead and just pass on it. Until you actually know what you're getting, don't do it. And additionally, because of how some teas from needles have been used in the past, if you're pregnant, hard pass on this. Not worth it but we're gonna go ahead and get our tea going now. So we can hopefully get this guy going quick. Inside here, we have some birch bark. In addition to that, we have some cedar twigs and some shaved fatwood. So hopefully once we get a spark down in there, this guy will get going. I want it to get going because my hands are freezing. So let's try this. Oh, almost. There we go. Good coming. solid simmer. All right, let's check this. All right, we got a boil going. Do you want to do the owners? I got it. Oh man, perfect. I'll throw this guy on there and sit back for about two minutes. Enjoy some tea. We've now let this steep for a couple minutes and I've reviewed this before, Bobble coffee press. Thing works amazing. 
in part because it's insulated and two, now we don't have any pine needles or anything like that. If you have something that's insulated, it'll keep it really hot. Otherwise, you may not wanna let it steep too long or it'll end up getting cold on you. And depending on how much you put in there, there's kind of, there's basically a tint. It really comes down to taste, preference, all that stuff. There you are, sir. Thanks. Bam. Mmm. Pretty much like five times your daily dose of vitamin C ups your T count if you're male. Yep. Like, Clearly. Pretty much better than like sleeping in a Holiday Inn Express. The FDA does not validate any of those claims. But they should. They should. What is it like though? Honestly, it's it's pretty subtle. And what would you say flavor wise? It's kind of like citrus, maybe a little bit flowery a little sweet it does have a sweetness to yeah. it which is nice and i mean honestly if you have like dug fur around your house or white pines and you just want to make it like on the regular that's cool yeah. but i think the magic is being out in the forest it being really cold and you're like you know what one i could use something warm and two i'm tired of just drinking water and yeah. uh yeah it's good cold too you know, I haven't tried it cold. I'm going to have to try that cold because honestly, spend enough time out of doors and eventually you want something just other than water too. Yeah. So there is that. Basically, that is how you make pine needle tea. And again, with those two uh, cautions, those caveats I gave earlier, next time you're out in the woods, if you want to make some, check it out and see how it does for you. Also, if you're not familiar with Matt's stuff over at jerkingthetrigger.com. Check it out. Honestly, it's one of the two things kind of industry-wise I consume, that and soldier systems. He has some cool stuff going over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Off to my left, this is a white pine. You can tell so. It's cold. too cold to hold. I've reviewed this before, the Bobble coffee press. Thing's really nice. Because... Oh my God. <laughs> Hello? Hey. All right, bye. Are you ready for that on YouTube? Having a perfect take wrecked <laughs> because you forgot to silence your phone? Think about Rookie it. Rookie stuff. Serious, day one stuff.